The lithium deep cycle battery market is flooded with fake grade A batteries in the United States. Once again, these companies have been lying to us. If you've shopped for these recently, you've surely seen tons of them on Amazon and other sites for about half the price of the well-established grade A batteries on the market. And maybe you thought the price of lithium batteries was just rapidly falling and these legacy brands are greedy. Nope. There's something more sinister going on, so stick around and we'll prove that these cheap batteries are really grade B or worse. For the past five years, I've been a reseller for a major lithium battery company, and then 18 months ago I started researching the process of partnering with a Chinese manufacturer and bringing my own batteries to market, which I've been selling for a year. So while there are plenty of people out there that know more about batteries from an engineering perspective than I do, I know the economics and supply chain for this industry pretty well now. And I can definitively say that we're being lied to. First, let me briefly explain the difference between grade A cells and grade B cells and the grading process. This is a 30,000 foot view, but I may do an in-depth video on this in the future if you guys want to see it. When a battery cell manufacturer designs a cell, they establish very precise specifications that all of the cells should have. But, in mass production, there are bound to be flaws and wandering tolerances. So every cell is tested after it's manufactured, and a grading system is applied to each cell to see how it compares to the ideal specifications in six major categories. Those are appearance, capacity, capacity recovery, internal resistance, or IR, size and weight, and rate of self-discharge. After the testing process, if a cell matches the specifications within very tight tolerances in those six categories, it gets a grade A rating. There are actually A plus and A minus ratings too, but we won't get into that in this video. Anyways, if a cell tests slightly out of tolerance with one of those categories, it gets a B rating. And if the cell is substantially out of tolerance, it will get a grade C rating. The rest aren't really worth mentioning because they're trash. So, the difference between a grade A cell and a grade B cell is not that much. So why is this all a big deal then? Let's say that we bought a bunch of grade B cells for cheap because their internal resistance was slightly off spec. We then use them to make a deep cycle battery with a BMS. Now for the short term, they'll perform the same as a grade A battery with the same BMS. But over time, those very slight differences in internal resistance will cause more and more problems and make the BMS work harder and harder to keep the cells balanced. On a long enough timeline, the BMS will fail to be able to keep all the cells balanced and the battery will drop in performance or fail altogether. But here's the problem. This failure most likely won't happen for over a thousand cycles at 100% depth of discharge, and possibly thousands of cycles at 50% depth of discharge. Most customers won't ever hit that many cycles with their battery, and even the ones that do will probably be outside of the warranty period of the battery. So no one's going to know that our grade B battery is any different than grade A for a very long time. Now one final note about the grading process is that it takes a long time to do. It takes weeks to properly grade a cell, and these companies use computerized systems to analyze the data and track every serial number of every cell they produce and what the results were. They keep this data on spreadsheets and can and do provide that information to their customers that buy their cells. Each cylindrical cell has a serial number, and each prismatic cell has a QR code that can be tracked and identified to make sure each cell is closely matched during assembly. So now that we know some basic differences of cell grades and the grading process, let's look at the economics of what's happening and the proof of why these cheap deep cycle batteries are fakes. The battery cell manufacturers, almost all of which are in China, will sell their grade B and C cells in bulk for pennies on the dollar compared to their grade A cells. Other companies that manufacture finished batteries for the retail market will buy those lower grade cells and make batteries out of them and sell them to the American public as grade A. Because they can buy their cells for a tiny fraction of what real grade A batteries cost, they can sell them for much less and make the same amount of profit. And since the average consumer doesn't know the difference and are being lied to, they can easily outsell their competition. Because why would you pay double the price for the same thing, right? These companies are banking on the fact that almost no one is going to buy their battery, completely disassemble it, 
which usually destroys the battery, and then spend weeks testing each cell to compare the results against the manufacturer's specs. They also know that it's hard, if not impossible, to get those original battery cell manufacturer's spreadsheets with the original testing data. And they usually aren't willing to share the original manufacturer cell specifications anyway, so that you can compare your testing data to what it should be. So it's next to impossible to prove, by actual testing, that a battery cell is a fake grade A. At least in the commercially packaged deep cycle batteries for the retail market. The only way you can do it is by looking at the price for clues. Let's run through an example together. First, we look at the cost of a real grade A lithium iron phosphate cell from large reputable Chinese manufacturers. They cost about 8 to 12 cents per watt hour in very large quantities, depending on the cell size. This is the price that a large battery manufacturer would pay. But if you or I buy them in small quantities, they cost about 16 cents to 22 cents per watt hour on sites like Alibaba. So for a battery manufacturer to purchase all of the cells needed to make a true grade A 100 amp hour 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery would be around 128 US dollars on average. Then you have to add in the cost of all the other components of the battery, such as the battery management system, the wires, the tabs or bolts, the sensors, the terminals, the plastic case, and so on. These costs can vary quite a bit, but let's say you can get all of that for 75 US dollars, which would be very cheap and using a no frills BMS. All these components are then assembled by a manufacturer that produces the finished batteries and are finally ready to ship to the US. But the manufacturer doesn't assemble batteries for free. So let's say that manufacturer makes $75 in profit on each battery which is again on the low end, but depends on volume and other factors. The subtotal for the finished battery after it's assembled and ready to export is about 278 US dollars. But getting the finished batteries overseas and then storing them until they're sold is also a big expense. This adds in another 150 or so on average. Now the batteries are ready to sell to customers in the US. At this point, our pretty conservative grand total ends up being 428 US dollars. Now I use very low estimates for each stage of the supply chain on purpose. Even the largest manufacturers buying in the highest of quantities with the best shipping prices and using low end BMSs can only bring a grade A battery to the US market for around 425 US dollars. And that's without any profit added in to make it worth their time, much less paying for selling expenses that Amazon charges them. More likely, most companies will have a cost of goods sold in the $5 to $600 range for their batteries. So hopefully you can see the problem. When you see a browser ad and it's trying to sell you a grade A 100 amp hour lithium battery for 400 bucks, that's not possible. Look, you don't have to take my word for it. Do your own research and verify my numbers. But as a final bit of evidence, I've been approached by multiple battery manufacturers to do review videos on their batteries for this channel but I declined to review them. Why? Because they're selling them for these ridiculously low prices and trying to tell me they're grade A batteries. But they can't provide me with testing data from the original cell manufacturer and specification data to prove they're real. Every cell manufacturer out there can give you testing data like this in a spreadsheet to show the test results. So if you run into a brand that can't come up with this information and their prices are too good to be true, it's a fake. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and a comment below if you found it interesting or helpful.